So begin painting this fireplace. Here's our product we're gonna be using. This is a concrete stain, and I like to use a concrete stain instead of a paint when it comes to doing brick, because it's actually, it's actually gonna absorb in to the brick instead of a paint, just creating a film over the top, which will more than likely peel. A concrete stain is way better to use. So we're gonna be getting it ready. We've got a mantle on here. We're gonna remove this mantle, and then the fireplace right here, we're gonna be masking that off, and we're gonna be using an airless sprayer to actually get our product on. We're gonna be spraying it and back brushing it and back rolling it. You could actually use just a brush and a roller to paint it, but we're gonna use an airless sprayer to just make the process a little bit faster. So we're gonna start off by removing this mantle and doing some masking around it to get it ready to stain. Okay, now we've removed this fireplace mantle. It was mounted on here, got it all removed. We're actually, in another video, we're actually repainting this brass on here and you can watch another video how to actually paint the brass, make it become more up to date. We're gonna be painting it a semi-gloss black. Do have a video right here. You can just check out that video on how to paint this brass. But now we're gonna just mask this off, mask the sides off, get our airless sprayer ready and begin getting it ready to paint. So we're gonna begin masking this. We're gonna be running some uh, nine inch paper around the edge of this fireplace because we're actually using an airless sprayer. The ceilings, uh, we're painting the walls in this house so we don't have to worry about the, the sides of the walls as much but we're still, we already painted them. So we're gonna run two rows of masking around it. We're gonna run some masking around the carpet, the bottom of the, the hearth down here. It's got carpet going up against it, so we'll run some masking up against that. We've got some furniture in here. We're dropping that with plastic because we don't want to get anything on the furniture, and then we'll begin painting. So we got our fireplace. It's all masked off now. We've got our airless sprayer right down here. It's all loaded up with our stain right now, our solid color stain. And we're just using that to make this process a lot faster just to spray it on. Once again, you could just brush and roll the whole thing, but using some form of sprayer is just gonna make it a lot faster. I've just got my sprayer right here with a short extension on it. Got a little 208 tip, um, fine finish tip. That way we don't create a lot of dust or overspray. And I've got it set at a really low spray low pressure so I'm not creating a lot of dust and overspray either. So we're just going to begin spraying this. There's two of us here. One's going to spray, one's going to back brush and back roll. Do this color being extremely light. This is a light color going over some really dark brick. We're just going to spray a nice thin coat over it first because it's going to take multiple coats. We won't back brush or back roll our first coat. We're just going to spray it. So we're just getting it sprayed real quick. If you are using a sprayer, definitely it's a good idea to use a mask. We're not using masks because we're trying to explain things in the video, but make sure you wear a respirator. It's so watery that it's just making it, you know, dusty. been about a half hour and our fireplace is getting pretty close to being dry our first coat then we're gonna begin spraying another coat it's kind of with these bricks and the grout there's kind of like an infinite number of angles and stuff that you gotta spray in and out different angles so it's gonna take more than one coat and shoot at more than one angle you just gotta go you know from sides and ups and downs and everything spraying it and applying it it's gonna take probably several coats to get it completed 100% so it will give it about an hour to dry in between coats and then we'll spray and back brush another coat. The first coat's really just spraying, the next coat we'll do a little bit more back brushing. Doing my long spraying this. I've We've been spraying it now, this is probably the third time we've been spraying it, but just because of all these angles, we're just continuing to hit these angles and spraying it. And then we're gonna, this is gonna be the final spray coat, then we're gonna actually go back and start doing some more back brushing to get some inside this grout, to push it in the grout a little bit more. But it's 
coming right along, just using a ladder to get up here so I can actually spray down on these bricks. So you got to get down on them. You got to get on the sides of them too, the little side edges here. And just keep picking away. This is why it's a lot easier just to use a sprayer so you can get all these things. You don't have to have a sprayer, but it just makes it a little bit faster, a little bit easier. Any kind of sprayer you could use, um, an HVLP sprayer. Airless is just gonna put out more product and make it a little bit faster. We also have a Titan cap spray that actually would work pretty good for this too. Well, I've almost got this thing all sprayed down back brush. We're gonna begin pulling the masking here pretty soon after it's all dry. And then we're gonna put back the fireplace where we took those brass uh, grates out there, sprayed them semi-gloss black. We're gonna finish spraying the two that are still attached there. And then we'll have this fireplace put back together. And we'll show you what that looks like here shortly. So there you have, we got all the masking pulled off, got all this brass painted. We're gonna begin putting the doors back on and the rest of this hardware. You can see our fireplace is all completed. Just got a few touch-ups to do, but you can see it's nice white, looks brand new and up to date and in style now.